Good morning. Uh, this is an awkward introduction that I am making after the fact uh, because I had to cut up the video um, due to it being too long. So instead of this video being about uh, the trumpet valves and lip slurs, it's just about the trumpet valves. Uh, once you go through this, you should be ready to start doing lip slurs because um, you'll have a more comfortable understanding of the way these fingers are supposed to work together. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get to Yesterday Sam to show you all about the valves. Before we start playing, let us take a look at the valves and we will discuss how they function. There are three valves. First valve, closest to the mouthpiece. The second valve, and then the third valve. Each valve is connected to a valve casing that is also attached to some extra tubing. Each valve will add some extra tubing to the trumpet. The first valve will add tubing enough to lower the pitch by two half steps or one whole step. The second valve with the smallest amount, will add just one half step worth of tubing, making the pitch go down by one half step. The third valve, the longest one, will add three half steps, or one and a half, or one and a whole steps worth of tubing, making the pitch go down three half steps. So. When there are no valves pushed down, that is the highest note that we can play in any partial. If we want it to go down the smallest amount, one half step, we add just the second valve. If we want it to go down a little bit more, two half steps, the first valve. Three half steps, the first plus the second one or the third one. For the most part, we will always be using one and two, even though they are roughly equivalent. Four half steps, we have to do one half step plus three half steps. That makes four half steps down from the open position. Five half steps will be three plus two half steps, the first and the third valves and the lowest possible position in any partial will be all three down, that is six half steps lower than open. So, highest and working our way down in this order. Open, two, one, one and two, two and three, one and three, and all three. This is the only thing you really have to memorize about this page and the operations of the trumpet in general, from highest to lowest. And you want to be able to go through that sequence reliably. The notes that they play are, are secondary. The notes we will learn as we play the trumpet more. The sequence matters. So, I want you to pause the video and work your way through that, slowly, as it is outlined on the Lipslurs page above the first line. Open, two, one, one and two, two and three, one and three, and one, two and three. Once you have that sequence memorized, let us play the first line as best you can. Uh, I understand that the lower notes are a little bit more difficult. Uh, that's just how it is. I'm going to play from the first note of the first line all the way to the last note of the first line. If at any point you hear the notes that you are playing become higher than the notes that I am playing, uh, then you have popped up to a higher partial. That is fine. Um, it'll become easier as you do it more, 
but I want you to think um, as we add valves, we are trying to go down. And that's it. The second partial will be a little bit easier to keep that up, although if there is difficulty, that is fine. This is the first line. I will cue each note with conducting from the trumpet, or in this case, cornet. Uh second line, starting on open G and working our way down slowly to D flat or C sharp. flexibility's sake, that you work on playing up and down, just like this, through these sequences, slowly a couple times to get used to moving the valves in sequence, and also sustaining pitches on each partial with different combinations of valves. Well, if you got through this introductory lesson uh, smoothly, then I think you're ready to move on to lip slurs, so move on to that video. Uh, and have fun with that. Uh, if you got something out of this, if you enjoyed it, uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, see ya.